Okay, so let's take a look at this example, cinemaapp1.java. Develop a cinema application that asks the user for their age. If their age is 100, print a message telling them that they get free admission to the cinema. So we have a simple decision to make here. Either the user's age is 100 or it's not. And if it is 100, we're going to give them free admission to the cinema. So let's switch over now to TextPad and take a look at writing the code for this problem. Okay, so here I've saved a file in TextPad as cinemaapp1.java. Now I'm not going to develop this application using an instantiable class just yet. We're just looking at the syntax for the if statement itself. So we'll start with our comment cinemaapp1.java. The author is me. And the date is the 15th of October 2013. Okay, public class cinema app one. Inside that, then we have our public static void main string args. Watch out there, string needs to get an uppercase S. And don't forget then to close your two curly brackets, one for the main method and one for the class. Now, in this instance, we're going to ask the user for their age and we're going to use J option pane to do that, so we have to import Java X dot swing dot J option pane. So we import that, and then inside the first thing we're going to do is declare our variables. Okay, so in this instance, the only variable we're going to need really is one to store the age. So let's do int age. We could store the cost of the cinema ticket, but really all we're doing is printing a message to the user, so we probably don't need to worry about that just yet. Then we're going to declare any objects that we need, but we don't actually need to declare any particular object here because we're not using an instantiable class. We're going to look at our input, our process, and our output. Okay, And in this case, our process and our output are going to be linked, but you'll see that now in a second. So the input, we're going to ask the user for their age. So age equals j option pane dot show input dialog null please enter your age. Okay, now thing is j option pane assumes that whatever it reads in is a string and that's not the case in this instance we want to read in an integer. So we're going to have to parse it. So integer dot parse int j option pane dot show, show input dialog and then close the round bracket at the end. So in order to use j option pane, remember we have to import java x dot swing dot j option pane. And then if we read something using j option pane and we want it to be a string, that's fine. But if we don't want it to be a string, then we have to parse it. So to turn it into an integer, we parse int. To turn it into a double, we parse double. So that's my input. I've read in my age, and then dependent on my age, I'm going to give a different output to the user. So I want to say if the age of the user is equal to, remembering that if we're testing equality, we have to use two equal signs, okay? One equal sign is assignment. Two equal signs are for equality. So if age is equal to 100, we're going to print a message, j option pane dot show message dialog congratulations you get free admission and then close my j option pane. Once I've done that then that's all that I want to do dependent on my condition so I close my curly bracket. So just to recap I have my condition age equals 100 and if that condition is true then I print my message box with my message in it. So I need to encase that instruction in the curly brackets for the if statement. Okay, so let's try and compile that. Control and 1. Tool completed successfully. So if we do Control and 2, then it should run. It should ask the user enter their age. Let's try 53 first. So in this case, nothing should happen. So when we press OK, nothing happens and the program ends. If we run it again and we enter 100 and we click OK, 
congratulations, you get free admission. Okay, so our statement is only printed if the age is equal to 100. And that's a very simple, very basic if statement. Okay, so it's the smallest if statement you can have. If one condition is true, perform one action. Okay, and in just a couple of moments, we're going to take a look at other examples, Cinema App 2 and Cinema App 3 where we have more than one condition and so then we have more than one action dependent on that condition.